Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm taking a look at the Block Visibility plugin. Block Visibility is a plugin that used to have a free version and a pro version, but now the author of the plugin, Nick Diego, has decided to give the pro version away for free. One of the highlights of Block Visibility is that it works with advanced custom fields. And in this video, I just want to do a quick tour of the plugin so you know what it is and the kinds of things it can help you with. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. So this is block visibility in the WordPress plugin directory. You can see it has more than 9,000 active installs and 43 five-star reviews. Four out of five support questions resolved in the last two months. This is the home page for the Block Visibility plugin. If you go to the support area, there's some video tutorials and there is a knowledge base that has some information if you get stuck or want some help. I've got a test site here with some demo data. And if we go to the back end, to plugins, you can see I have Block Visibility installed. It's version three and above that has the pro features rolled in. When you activate block visibility, you get a new settings area off of the settings menu. Three tabs, general settings, visibility controls, and block manager. Here you can add some contextual indicators. So for example, I'll choose orange. You can reduce the block's opacity when visibility controls are applied. Enable block toolbar controls for visibility settings, help notices and popovers, and utilities. So these are things for copy, import, etc. Notice that all of these have a help icon here, and if you click on it, then you get a little pop-up help message about it. User permissions by role. Full control module, this allows you to apply visibility options to blocks that you might not see normally in the editor. It says you usually don't need this, but you can enable it in case you, that you do. This when you uninstall to remove all plugin settings. Then visibility controls, these are things that are going to show up in the editor. And the defaults here are kind of like a quick start. And so visibility presets is an important one. We'll see what that is in a minute. But you can choose any of the different types of display conditions that there are available. And there are quite a few. There's browser and device, cookie, date and time, location, metadata, which is WordPress custom fields, query string, referral source, screen size, URL path, and user role. Okay, so quite a few display condition trigger options there. So you can turn these on or off. And if you know, for example, that you're not gonna use them, you can turn them off and then they won't show up in the editor and they'll just make the experience a little slimmer there. Okay, so you can turn all of these on and off. And like here, screen size, you can set the breakpoints. And there's even one that gives you four breakpoints if you feel like you need that. All right. And then here's where you would enable support for advanced custom fields. So I made some changes, so I'll update this. And then this is the block manager area. You may think this is whether to show or hide blocks, but that's not the case. This is which blocks will have the visibility control options shown on. Okay, again, if you know that you're only going to use it on a few blocks, then you can just turn it off on these others. If we go to a page and we add a block here, We select the block over in the block options here on the right, you know, panels like for style and for settings, 
but there's also a panel now for visibility. So this will just hide the block from everyone. But notice in this little hot dog menu, we have all of the types here. So for example, we can select screen size. And when we check it here from the hot dog menu, then we get the controls for screen size here. So we'll hide on tablet and mobile. We'll update and we'll go and open a new page here. And with the developer tools, we'll try it, uh, go to a mobile size and the block disappears. So that's an example of one of the visibility conditions. Now the presets feature that I was mentioning, if you go to visibility presets and click the plus sign, then you get this panel here and you can create presets, which means you can have the conditions already created. So if we create a preset and let's call this hide from visitors, we click the button here for visibility controls and we go down to user role and we say log out and publish. Then we have our preset over here. You can add multiple presets to create a control set. And over here on the hot dog menu, you can duplicate it or delete it. Okay, but what I wanted to show you, and let's turn this off now. So here are the available presets. The options are all selected presets apply. So you can apply more than one. At least one applies or none apply. So say at least one applies and then you can select your presets. So you don't have to create it over and over again if you're using it in multiple places and say hide when preset applies. Okay, so I'm going to update and I refresh and you can see the orange border and the eye icon to tell you and its opacity has been affected to give you uh, a clue that this has visibility conditions applied. If we go to the front page and look at it here, we are logged in and we see the image. I'm just going to grab the URL here and go to a private window and I'll paste that URL in and we see that the image does not appear. And if we look at the page source, we see that the image has been removed. It's not just hidden. So this is the block visibility plugin from Nick Diego. As you can see, there are a lot of display conditions that you can apply and it works with advanced custom fields. I have a text summary of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. Hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching.